in this example we have been given a project network diagram the activities are shown in blue color while the events are shown in the red color now for each activity of the network the project manager has arrived at three estimates TO which is the optimistic time TM which is the most likely time and TP which is the pessimistic time now these three time estimates are given along the arrows in the TO TM TP order so basically the first one say this is TO this is TM and this is TP now we are being asked to determine the variance and the expected time for each activity now we know that variance is the square of the standard deviation and standard deviation is TP minus TO divided by 6 so variance would be if we square on both the sides so this will be the variance and we also know that the expected time is TE TO plus we give a weightage of 4 to the most likely time and then plus TP and average it out so we have 6 numbers here so divide by 6 so let's calculate the variance and the expected time for each of the activities so let's make a table So let's list down the activities. So 1 to 2 is one activity. 1 to 5 is another. 2 to 3, 2 to 4, 2 to 5, 5 to 6, 3 to 7, 4 to 7, 4 to 6, and 6 to 7. Now let's note down the three time estimates. So for activity 1 to 2, the optimistic time is 6. So TO is 6, TM is 9 and TP is 12. For activity 1, 5, TO is 4, TM is 7 and TP is 8 for 2 to 3 which is this 2 to 3 it is 14 17 and 20 for 2 to 4 which is this 7 10 13 for 2 to 5 3 5 9 for 5 to 6, 9, 11, 12. For 3 to 7, 13, 18, 25. For 4 to 7, 12, 15, 18. For 4 to 6, 10, 14, 16 and for 6 to 7 17 20 and 25 now let's calculate the variance for each of the activities so sigma square for the first activity will be tp minus to divided by 6 
and square so tp is 12 12 minus to is 6 6 divided by 6 and then square so 12 minus 6 is 6 divided by 6 which is equal to 1 square which is equal to 1 so variance here is 1 for the second activity 8 minus 4 divided by 6 and square so 8 minus 4 divided by 6 this is equal to 4 by 6 square or 2 by 3 square now let me pull my calculator here so 2 divided by 3 and square so this is 0.44 the third activity 20 minus 14 divided by 6 and square so 20 minus 14 divided by 6 so 20 minus 14 is 6 by 6 this is equal to 1 square is equal to 1 for 2 4 13 minus 7 divided by 6 so 13 minus 7 divided by 6 square so 13 minus 7 is 6 divided by 6 square this is also 1 for 2 5 9 minus 3 divided by 6 square so 9 minus 3 is 6 6 divided by 6 is 1 and 1 square is 1 for 5 6 12 minus 9 which is 3 divided by 6 so 3 divided by 6 is 0. 0.5 square which is 0. 0.25 for 3 7 25 minus 13 by 6 so 25 minus 13 is 12 12 divided by 6 is 2 2 square is 4 for activity 4 7 18 minus 12 which is 6 divided by 6 which is 1 1 square is 1 for 4 6 16 minus 10 which is 6 divided by 6 which is 1 1 square is 1 for 6 7 25 minus 17 divided by 6 so 25 minus 17 is 8 8 divided by 6 which is 4 by 3 so we need to calculate 4 by 3 square let me pull my calculator for this 4 divided by 3 this is 1.33 and square is 1.77 so we'll round it off and put 1.78 so these are the variances for each of these activities now let's calculate the expected time for each of the activities which is to plus 4 times tm plus tp divided by 6 so for the first activity it will be 6 plus 4 times 9 plus 12 divided by 6 so 6 plus 4 multiplied by 9 plus 12 divided by 6 now 9 multiplied by 4 is 36 36 plus 6 is 42 42 plus 12 is 54 so this is 54 by 6 and 6 nines are 54 so this is 9 so the expected duration here is 9 so the optimistic time was 6 the most likely time was 9 and the pessimistic time was 12 and the expected time 
based on the PERT calculation is also coming out as 9. Now for the second activity which is 1 5 4 plus 4 multiplied by 7 plus 8 divided by 6. So here 4 multiplied by 7 is 28. 28 plus 4 is 32. 32 plus 8 is 40. So here we have to find out 40 divided by 6. Now this is equal to 6.666 or we can say 6.67. So the expected time for activity 1-5 is 6.67. Similarly for activity 2-3, 14 plus 4 times 17 plus 20 divided by 6. So 4 multiplied by 17 is 68. 68 plus 14 is 82 and 82 plus 20 is 102. So we need to find 102 divided by 6 which is equal to 17. So this is 17. For activity 2, 4, 7 plus 4 times 10 plus 13 divided by 6. So 4 times 10 is 40 and 13 plus 7 is 20. So 40 plus 20 is 60. 60 divided by 6 is 10. For activity 2, 5, 3 plus 4 times 5 plus 9 divided by 6. So 4 times 5 is 20, 20 plus 9 is 29, 29 plus 3 is 32 and divide by 6. So 32 divided by 6 which is equal to 5.33. For activity 5, 6, 9 plus 4 multiplied by 11 plus 12 divided by 6. So 4 multiplied by 11 is 44, plus 12 is 56, plus 9 is 65, 65 divided by 6 is our expected time. And 65 divided by 6 is 10.8. Now for 3, 7. It is 13 plus 4 multiplied by 18 plus 25 divided by 6. Now 4 multiplied by 18 is 72 plus 13 is 85 plus 25 is 110. So 110 divided by 6 which is 18.3. Now for activity 4, 7, it is 12 plus 4 multiplied by 15 plus 18 divided by 6. Now 4 multiplied by 15 is 60 and 18 plus 12 is 30. So 60 plus 30 is 90. 90 divided by 6 is what we need to find out. So this is equal to 15. So our expected duration is 15. For activity 4, 6, 10 plus 4 multiplied by 14 plus 16 divided by 6. So 4 multiplied by 14 is 56 plus 10 is 66 and 66 plus 16 is 82. So we have to find out 82 divided by 6 which is equal to 13. 0.66. Now for activity 6, 7, it is 17 plus 4 multiplied by 20 plus 25 divided by 6. So 4 multiplied by 20 is 80. 80 plus 25 is 105 and 105 plus 17 is 122. So 122 divided by 6, this is equal to 20.33. So expected duration is 20.33. So now with this data, we have found out the variance for each of the activities and the expected 
duration for each of the activity based on the three time estimates. Let's just review the time estimates based on the three estimated times. So the expected time for the first one is the same as the most likely time which is 9. For the second activity which is 1 5 the expected time is slightly less than the most likely time. For the third one it is the same as the most likely time. The fourth it is again the same. For 2 5 it is slightly higher than the most likely time. For 5 6 it is slightly lesser. For 3 7 it is slightly higher. For 4 7 it is the same. For 4 6 it is slightly lesser and 6 7 it is slightly higher.